So what is a traveling salesperson problem is we need to find a minimum cost closed path which covers all the cities exactly once okay so to solve that particular problem we are defining a function g so g is basically a function which gives the length of an optimal tour tour means it is a closed path okay so g is a function so in this the first one is you are at starting city that is city one and you need to visit all the remaining cities of course exactly once okay so this function is equals to and you need to find the minimum so minimum of k is greater than 2 and less than n sorry greater than or equals to 2 and less than or equals to n c of 1k that is you are visiting from city 1 to the kth city k is varying from 2 to n okay so you need to visit the kth city and what is the cost that is involved to visit the kth city is from the city 1 is c of 1k that is a cost matrix plus g of k because you are currently at which city in kth city so that's why g of k comma v minus 1 comma k so remaining cities you need to visit it this is the mathematical the function which represents the minimum cost tour okay in general it is written g of i comma s where i is you are currently at ith city and still there are cities are there s is nothing but it is a set of cities to be visited okay is equal to minimum of j is belongs to s c of i j plus g of j comma s minus j so this is the mathematical function by using this uh, we will solve the trialing salesperson problem okay so this is the example we are taking there are four cities are there and the right side the whatever the costs which are given so these are the cost of the edges are nothing but it is a cost between the two cities okay. so in the dynamic model uh, first we are solving the uh, smaller problems then after combining all these sub problems and we are solving the actual problem it is a bottom up approach okay so here we are using the help of the principle of optimality and what this principle of optimality says is any optimal solution will constitute <coughs> with suboptimal solutions okay so that's why we are starting with a smaller sub problem so what is that smaller sub problem is you are currently at one particular city the city may be a second city or third city or fourth city okay you are currently at one particular city and there is no cities to visit you are at the end moment okay so that is means all cities you are already visited and you are currently at city 2 and there is no city to visit is equals to what is the cost that is involved is so after visiting city 2 because there is no cities are there you are going back to the origin of the city or the starting city so what is the starting city here the city number one so that's why we are directly giving c of two comma one so after city two you are going to city one and what will be the cost is from the cost matrix is five so similarly you are at currently at city three and there is no city to visit and the cost is involved is six and you are currently at city four and no city two because all possible sub problems we are solving because these sub problems are a part of your maybe a part of your optimal solution okay yeah so in the next step you are visiting the exactly one city okay so you are currently at city two you need to visit exactly one city and what is the possible that one city is either city three or city 4 only these are the two possible cities you will be getting because you are currently at city 2 and city 1 is already it is a starting point you are not visiting in between this one tour at the end again you will be going back to the city 1 so this is nothing but the g is a function you are currently at city 2 you need to visit exactly one city and what is the name of the city is 3 is equals to visit the city from city 2 that is what c of 2 3 plus g of 3 comma pi so this g of 3 comma 5 previously we solved the values so directly you will be substituting 
in this particular formula okay so you'll be getting 9 plus 6 because 9 is nothing but it is a cos between ct2 to ct3 so 9 plus 6 total 15 so similarly you are looking for uh, the fourth city and you are getting 18 and g of 3 comma 2 that is you are currently at city 3 and still you need to visit a single city the city may be a second city or it may be a fourth city also you may get it okay so that's why we are looking all possible suboptimal problems so g of 3 comma 2 is giving 18 and g of 3 comma 4 20 similarly you are at currently city 4 you need to visit city 2 it is nothing but 4 c 2 plus g of 2 comma 5 so that is 8 plus 5 total 30 so g of 4 comma 3 c of 4 3 because you are visiting city 3 from the fourth city then g of 3 comma 5 is equals to 15 so these are all the values where exactly you need to visit a single city all possible sub problems you are finding the solution because these values are required to find the final optimal solutions okay yeah now the scenario is the fellow is there currently at one particular city and he has to visit exactly two cities okay so among these two cities if you visit first city you will be getting some value and if you visit the next second city you are getting another value based on these two values you need to find the minimum one okay so let us currently is having a city two and you need to visit two more cities and what are the two more cities are there is three and four okay so if that fellow visiting city three what is the cost that we are getting is nine plus twenty you are getting twenty nine if the same fellow from city 2 if that fellow is visiting city 4 first then what is the cost that you are getting is 25 so among this 29 and 25 so which is the minimum value 25 will be the minimum value so it means that is g of 2 comma 3 comma 4 so when you have this sub problem there are two possible values we are getting one is a 29 other one is a 25 but we know that by using a principle of optimality we know that all the sub problems must be a suboptimal so that's why we are ignoring the 29 value and you are making that g of 2 comma 3 comma 4 refers only it is 25 only okay because that is the optimal solution for that sub problem similarly the fellow may be there at city 3 and he need to visit exactly two cities that is 2 comma 4 so if that fellow is visiting to city 2 the cost that we are getting is 31 if that fellow is visiting city 4 from city 3 the cost is getting is 25 again in both the cases which is the minimum one is 25 is a minimum one so what is the solution is if this sub problem occurs the solution is from city 3 to you have to visit city 4 so that you will be getting a minimum value okay so similarly for city 4 also we are looking the possible values and finally we are concluding that this sub problem will have a suboptimal solution of 23 then finally the fellow is there currently at city 1 because there are only four cities are there in that one is the origin city the remaining cities are three so the fellow must be in city 1 because that is the starting point so he has to visit the three cities exactly that is two three four again same thing if that fellow visits city two what is the cost that he is getting is 10 plus 25 he will be getting a 35 if the fellow visits city three what is the cost that he is getting is 35 and if that fellow visits city four the cost that we are getting is 43 so among these three the which is the minimum one is 35 will be the minimum one so either you can select the first one or you can select the second one because in a both the cases the value that you are getting is 35 okay so this is what the values we got it so in order to get the value of g of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 is equals to so c 1 2 plus g of 2 comma 3 comma 4 so means that fellow is visiting city 2 
again from city 2 to again is visiting city 4 again after this from city 4 to is visiting city 3 and from city 3 to is visiting city 1 so this is what the traveling salesperson problem okay so using this recurrence relation function you can easily solve it okay so what is the time complexity of this traveling salesperson problem is if you don't apply this model you will be getting in terms of n factorial the complexity of the problem is n factorial okay but whereas if you apply the dynamic model the what is the time complexity of the algorithm is it is n square into 2 power n so the time complexity in terms of theta notation or big o notation both cases you will be getting the same thing n square into 2 power n so that is the time complexity of the traveling salesperson problem so it can be uh, uh, reduced to n into 2 power n also based on the technique so this is what the traveling salesperson problem any questions from your side you can ask now Today we will discuss the new problem, very small and inter very interesting problem. So there is a knapsack problem already we discussed in the greedy model. So what is a knapsack problem is, so knapsack means it is a kind of a shoulder bag, it is basically it is a bag with limited weight capacity, few items each having some weight and value. So there are n items are available and for every item we define the weight as well as the value. Value is in, term, in terms of profit. Okay. The value or profit obtained by putting the items into the knapsack is maximum and the weight limit of the knapsack does not exceed this one. So what is the constraint is you should not exceed the knapsack size when you are adding the items into the knapsack okay at the same time you should get the more profit okay so there are two kind of problems are there in the knapsack one is called a fractional knapsack problem that you are seen in the previous uh, example okay the example is you can look at in the diagram so there are items are available like there are x are there there are there are many different items are there where you can divide that item and you can add into the bag so fractional is allowed like you can see there are tomatoes are there different uh, kind of items are there so the based on the capacity you can select the fractional part of the that particular item but whereas in the zero one knapsack problem like you, if you see the left side diagram so all the items are there like there is a tv fridge washing machine like this is there so you cannot uh, take as a fractional parts so when you are adding into the bag you cannot add a fraction of the the tv if you divide it it will be broken no use for you okay so this is what the diagram will explain the difference between the the zero one knapsack problem and a fractional knapsack problem okay so fractional knapsack problem already we discussed in the previous model so now we will see it, the zero one knapsack problem So in 0 1 knapsack problem as the name suggests items are invisible here indivisible not visible indivisible you cannot divide the item it means either you are selecting the item completely or you may be rejecting the item completely okay so for example consider the knapsack example n equals to 3 there are n 3 items are there and for every item you define the weights that is 2 3 4 and the profits that you are getting is 1, 2, 5. And M equal to 6, that is the bag size. Okay. So, what are the possible solutions for this particular one is? You can see that uh, all items are rejected at the first 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Like this, all the combinations if you look at, that is 2 power n different combinations you will be getting 
so among these two four n different combinations some of may be a feasible solution and some of may be unfeasible solutions okay so in the feasible solutions there is a solution which gives the maximum profit to you that is what the optimal solution and you need to find among these two power n possible solutions possible uh, combinations you need to give the best solution you need to find the best solution okay so in order to do that particular one you are uh, defining your function okay so f of n with m be the value of a optimal solution what is f is a function which takes the m m is nothing but the capacity of the bag current capacity of the bag so f of n is equals to the maximum of f of n minus 1 of m see it here f of n of m equals to the max of if i select the nth item if i select the nth item then the bag size will be reduced current bag size will be reduced how much weight it will be reduced you can see it m minus wn weight will be reduced here and what is the profit that you are getting because you are ac accepting the item the profit you are getting is pn here so the second term which is there if the item is selected then you will be getting a function f of n minus 1 of m minus wn it means you are selected the nth item so that's why the function is defined like this and the first term is if you reject the nth item if you are rejecting the nth item you are not getting the profit as well as the current knapsack bag size it won't be changed so you need to look at the both possible combinations if i select what is the profit if i reject what is the profit among these two combinations two decisions you need to find the maximum value okay so that is what the problem so n represent the you are currently at nth item the n represents in the function is it is for the nth item okay so if you look at this particular one the same problem i have taken so n equal to 3 w1 w2 w3 is not, nothing but the weights are there that is 2 comma 3 comma 4 are weights of a items and the profits are 1 to 5 and the back capacity is 6 okay so f of n n means the number of items how many items are there initially three items are there so f of n of m what is the value of m 6 n value is 3 is equal to the maximum of f of n minus 1 of m that is if you are rejecting the item which item nth item if you are rejecting the nth item the function is defined like this okay if you are accepting the nth item then immediately you are removing the the whatever that weight you are added to the knapsack bag size so you are changing the current weight of the knapsack that is m minus wn okay. because you are accepting the item so you, the capacity of the bag is reduced at the same time you are getting the profit that is pn also it is added to the function okay so you can look at the values here f3 of 6 so 6 is a current back capacity because no item is selected and no item is rejected at this f3 of 6 is equals to the maximum of so third item what is the third item here the third item is w3 is 4 and p3 is 5 okay so is equals to the maximum of f2 of 6 comma f2 of 6 minus w3 plus p3 okay so if you substitute the values f3 of 6 equals to the maximum of f2 of 6 if the third item is rejected so what is the function you are getting f2 of 6 means f2 means there are only two items are existed because the first item we are already rejected so that's why it is f2 of 6 so similarly f2 of 6 minus 4 because you are accepted the third item so current bag size is reduced to 2 and the profit that you got it is 5 so same thing if you rewrite it 
now f3 of 6 is equals to maximum of f2 of 6 comma f2 of 2 plus 5 okay so one function that is f2 function which capacity is 6 because third item is rejected the another f2 function with the current capacity is 2 only because you are accepted the third item okay so in this way you are taking a many sequence of decisions in the dynamic model okay so to understand that one so i have taken the tree structure here so you can see it here f3 of 6 is equals to the max of f2 of 6 comma f2 of 2 plus 5 so now i am finding the what is the value of f2 of 6 what is the sub problem of f2 of 6 there are two items are existed and the current bag size is 6 units are available. So that is what I expanded in the left side box. That is F2 of 6 is equals to maximum of again F1 of 6. So why I am getting F1 of 6? Because I am rejecting the second item. I am rejecting the second item. That is why the function I am getting is F1 of 6 comma again if i am selecting the second item what will be the second item the second item is weight is 3 and the profit that i am getting is 2 here okay so that's why 6 minus 3 plus 2 so if you simplify it you'll be getting f2 of 6 is expanded like f1 of 6 comma f3 of 3 why 3 because you selected only the second item plus 2 so why 2 because you are getting a profit 2 units here okay so this is what the left side that is f2 of 6 so similarly the right side also you need to find the value of f2 of 2 so what is f2 of 2 it means you are selected the third item and you are currently at which item item number 2 the left out items are 2 here okay so f2 of 2 is equals to the maximum of f1 of 2 if i reject the second item and f1 of 2 minus 3 plus 2 if i accepted the second item again if you simplify it f2 of 2 equal to maximum of f1 of 2 or f1 of minus 1 so what do you mean by minus 1 is you are exceeded the bag limit here so when you are getting a negative value what is the current capacity of the bag if it is negative value means you are added the item which is more than the current capacity the meaning of the negative value okay so again uh, let us expand the left part of this particular one so once you got it again i need to expand the f1 of 6 first then f1 of 3 so these two values i need to find in order to get the value of a f2 of 6 so what will be the f1 of 6 f1 of 6 means the first item is left is available now and what is the current bag capacity 6 again maximum of f0 of 6 and f0 of 6 minus 2 plus 1 because you are getting a profit 1 and the current bag capacity is reduced from 6 to 4 so that is what you can see it here so f1 of 6 is equal to maximum of f0 of 6 comma f0 of 4 because 6 minus 2 plus you got the profit of 1 okay again f1 of 6 is equals to the maximum of f0 of 6 what is this f0 of 6 means what is the current back capacity is 6 units still it is left but f0 is nothing but all items are over so there is no item is there when there is no item is there you cannot add the item into the bag so what is the profit that you are getting when there is no item is there but still your bag is empty with six units so what is the profit you are getting is zero here f naught of six is zero because there is no items are there to consider okay because only one two three items are there there is no zero -th item so that's why f naught of 6 we are given as 0 next coming to f naught of 4 is also is given as 0 because still the back capacity is 4 units but no item is existed to add or remove okay so that's why f naught of 4 is also is treated as a 0 plus 1 so among the 0 comma 1 which is the maximum value 1 will be the maximum value 
so what is the profit that you are getting for f1 of 6 is one unit because only one item is there you are added to the bag and you got the profit so f1 of 6 is replaced with one similarly f1 of 3 so what is f1 of 3 so current bag capacity is 3 now you have to either select the item number 1 or you can reject the item number 1 because it is F1 will represent the only one item is existed that is the first item. Okay. So F3 of 3, F1 of 3 equals to maximum of F0 of 3 if you reject the first item and if you accept the first item you are getting F0 of 3 minus 1 plus 1. Okay. So F0 of 3 is becoming 0 now and f naught of 1 is also it is 0 because 0 means no items are there but still your bag is empty so what is the maximum profit that you are getting is for f1 of 3 you are getting a profit is 1 so f1 of 3 value is 1 and f1 of 6 is also 1 so these values when you are replacing so you will be getting 1 comma 1 plus 2 like previously f1 of 6 is 1 and f1 of 3 is 1 and plus 2 is there so the same thing is added now what is the value of f2 of 6 actually the maximum of 1 comma 1 plus 2 so it is become a 3 value now similarly i need to expand the f1 of 2 okay so in f1 of 2 what is the value again so f0 of 2 and f0 of 2 minus 2 plus 1 so again f0 of 2 will give 0 value and f0 of 0 <coughs> will give 0 because f0 of 0 means what is the current bag size is it is 0 it means full bag is full but no no more item is also there so that is acceptable and the profit that is 0 okay so f1 of 2 you are getting 1 and f1 of minus 1 is not a feasible solution so that's why it is an infinity value okay so when these values are that is infinity means it is not plus infinity it is a minus infinity because it is a profit so it will be a minus infinity so when you say max so you'll be getting the max value for f2 of 2 is 1 okay here it is 3 here it is 1 so these values when you are putting into this one so you'll be getting 3 comma 1 plus 6 so f3 of 6 is equal to maximum of 3 comma 1 plus 5 that is 6 so what is the value finally the value is finally is 6 okay so this is what a 0 1 knapsack problem so here what exactly you are doing is in every step you are picking the item and you are saying that if the item is selected what is the uh, profit i am getting and what will be the current bag size if i reject the same item what will be the profit i am getting so you are looking all possibilities here okay but by using a dominance rule you are reducing the number of sub problems actually okay so in order to implement the the knapsack problem in the programming language to simplify that one so we are taking a different approach but actually the whatever the previous formulas we are following the same thing only but when you are writing in a program we are writing in a different way so there are many different logics are there so because of flexibility in writing a program so what we have done is initially s naught is equals to 0 comma 0 so the meaning of 0 comma 0 is this combination of 0 and 0 is nothing but it is a profit and a weight okay so when initially no item is considered so what is the profit that you are getting is 0 and what is the weight that you are getting in the bag is 0 it means it is your bag is empty 0 0 means 0 profit and the what is the weight that you are added into the bag is 0 it means no item is added so that is s naught you are initializing with a pair of tuples okay it is 0 comma 0 represents profit and the weight okay 
so from that so in order to get s1 of i that is dash i can say is equals to p comma w okay so here p minus p of i plus 1 because you are at currently at ith item so p minus p of i plus 1 and w minus w of i plus 1 is belongs to s of i so it means the current item if you are removing the profit as well as weight when you are removing it belongs to the previous set that is s1 so how the s s of i 1 is considered is like this okay so area once you are looking the example you can understand this one okay so i'll explain this purging or dominance rule also with the help of the example so what this dominance rule is saying is so p of j and w of j is a profit weight so let us take there are two combinations that is p of j and w of j and p of k and w of k so if p of j is less than or equals to p of k p of j is less than or equals to p of k it means the kth tuple profit is more than the jth tuple and the weight is in the reverse it means more weight it is giving a less profit and here it is a less weight but giving a more profit means one fellow is dominating with another okay so that that is what a dominance rule we are saying okay so that anyhow we will see in the example okay so i am taking the same example of the same problem initially s not equal to zero and zero okay so now i need to compute s1 yes, so s1 yes, of not is equals to 1 comma 2 so why you are getting 1 comma 2 if i select the first item if i select the first item what is the first item in that problem the first item is the weight is 2 the profit is 1 if i select the first item the profit is added to the profit the first term is a profit the profit is added to the profit and the weight is added to the weight okay so s naught is basically the initial values no item is selected and s naught one if i select the first item you are just adding the profit profit and weight weight so that our programming will be simplified okay again you are merging these two so after merging so how you are getting s1 actually so s1 is equals to s naught union s naught one okay so there is a subscript superscript is there don't confuse with this one okay so for s naught it is zero zero and s naught of one is giving one comma two because you have selected the first item and you need to merge it to get the s1 here s1 is equal to 0 0 and 1 2 so what is 0 0 and what is 1 comma 2 is 0 0 means no item is selected or first item is rejected the second combination is the first item is selected because you are selected the first item what is the profit you are getting is 1 and the weight is 2 now so S1 will have a two tuples that is 0, 0 and 1, 2. Now you select the second item. So what will be the second item that is? The second item is weight is 3 and the profit is 2. So this weight and profit is added to these tuples. That is 2, comma 3 is added to these two tuples which is there in the S1. So when you are adding, what are the combinations you are getting? You are getting 2, comma 3 and 3, comma 5 3 comma 5 so it means what is the meaning of this one 2 comma 3 means it is because of 0 and 0 what in by 0 and 0 the first item is rejected now when you are adding the second item you will be getting 2 comma 3 the meaning is only second item is selected because of that you got it 2 comma 3 and what about 3 comma 5 the first item is also selected 
and the second item is also selected because of that you got it 3 comma 5 so 3 is the profit and 5 is the, this one so again you need to perform the union operation to obtain s2 value what is s2 value s1 union s1 of 1 okay so you can say s1 dash s2 is equal to again you will be merging that is 0 comma 0 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 5 so that your above two sets you are performing the union operation okay so among this all these combinations again you are obtaining the s2 s2 dash so s2 dash is nothing but again the third item is added to all these tuples what is the third item here the third item is 4 and 5 4 is the weight and 5 is the profit so 4 comma 5 is added to all these four tuples and you got it 5 comma 4 6 comma 6 7 comma 7 and 8 comma 9 okay so again you are performing the union okay so what is that you are getting you are getting all possible values 0 comma 0 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 3 comma 5 5 comma 4 6 comma 6 7 comma 7 and 8 comma 9 so if you look at these combinations 7 comma 7 and 8 comma 9 which is not a feasible solutions because the back size you are exceeded so what is the back capacity here it is only 6 it means the last two tuples you can remove it because it is not a feasible for us okay so any other tuples you can remove it here Hmm? look at these two tuples that is 3 comma 5 and 5 comma 4 so 3 is basically it is a profit and 5 is a weight 5 is a weight because that is the combination p comma w okay so here for 5 grams you are getting a profit is 3 Okay. So, let me uh, take a general example. Suppose you are eating a 5 grams of cake. What is the energy that you are getting is you are getting only 3 units of energy. But whereas this particular combination, if you are eating a 4 grams of a cake, what is the energy that you are getting? You are getting a 5 units of energy. It means the second tuple that is 5 comma 4 which is dominating 3 comma 5 yes or no so because here the more weight and it is giving a less profit but whereas this is a less weight but it is giving more profit it means 3 comma 5 can be purged because of this dominance rule because this tuple that 5 comma 4 tuple is dominating 3 comma 5 okay but whereas you look at here 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 3 see more weight more profit is acceptable but more weight less profit is not acceptable so these tuples also you are removing by using a dominance rule okay so these two are removed and these two also you can see it so among this you remove that one because this term 3 comma 5 which is dominated by 5 comma 4 that's why you reduce the number of tuples so this is what the final set of values you will be getting and what will be the solution that is 6 comma 6 the profit that you are getting is 6 here so this is 0 1 knapsack problem when you are implementing as an algorithm to simplify the the process you are using otherwise you have to write a recursive function like f is a function which is a recursive function you need to write it okay so this is what the algorithm he has given zero one naps of algorithm okay so anyhow this we'll see it maybe in the lab so what is the time complexity of this particular algorithm is it is order of n square it is not 2 power n because you are purging the many tuples so that the number of iterations are reduced. 
so this is what is zero one knapsack problem so if you have any questions from your side you can ask now